I live in a suburb just outside of Toronto, and for those of you guys who don't know, Toronto has traffic that rivals only Los Angeles, so it's pretty tough to get anywhere in this city. And that means if you're in your car, you're in it for a long time. And your car is kind of like an extension of your home. If it's messy, you feel stressed. And that's certainly how I feel. And because I do have snacks and I do have drinks in the car, it can get a little messy from time to time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you seven car cleaning tips that you can use to keep your car looking great no matter what time of year it is. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if your car needs a little bit of a scrub down. When it comes to car cleaning, the devil is in the details. What I mean by that is the actual detailing tools. Cars are just full of little nooks and crannies and seams and lines and areas that dirt and food and like dead skin cells and hair can get into. The question is, sometimes I look at those things and I'm like, how am I gonna get that out? Easy. You get yourself some detailing tools and clearly they're not expensive. You can use an old toothbrush. You can use an old makeup brush. This one, I don't know, dollar store or less, but it's very useful. I've used it a lot for cleaning. And if you don't have those tools, you can always use a cotton swab and even a pipe cleaner. Any of these little things will be able to get into those cracks, crevices, nooks and crannies around the car and get rid of all those tiny little things that you don't want to see anymore. You have to excuse me, I didn't want to burn my retinas here. You might actually be able to see Luke filming me right now. Standing here by the windshield wipers. And tell me this, have you ever been driving and noticed that you turn on your wipers and you get these kind of weird streaky spots on your glass? And then you wonder what you've done so wrong in the world to deserve that? There is a simple answer and a simple fix. As your windshield blade starts to build up dirt on it, when it wipes back and forth on the glass, it can't do as good a job giving you that clean, streak-free shine because it's got debris or things blocking it from giving you that look. So all you have to do is clean the blade. And to do that, just take a paper towel and saturate it with a bit of rubbing alcohol. Then hold the blade up and give it one long stroke. When you're done, you'll see all of that dirt and other stuff come off on the paper towel. Toss that and your windshield will look amazing. Whether you bring pets in the car and have pet hair everywhere, or you have kids or frankly adults who make crumbs when they eat snacks in the car, having a lint roller in the vehicle is a very handy thing because you can easily zip up little messes or spills or pet hair patches quickly and efficiently. Here I'm using the Evercare Home Giant Extreme Stick Lint Roller, super handy to have around, not only to clean up pet hair and crumbs, but also to remove any pet hair or crumbs on you before you have a big meeting. I've kept one in my car for years, and honestly, I use it several times a week. For cleaning your console and your dashboard, you can certainly buy some products to do that, sprays, wipes, that kind of thing, but you can also make up your own DIY cleaner. It's a super simple solution, and it's two cups of water, a teaspoon of dish soap, and a tablespoon of white vinegar. Put that in a spray bottle, and you can use that to clean pretty much any surface on the interior of your car. But there is a caveat. I want you to always test in a hidden area first and check with your car manufacturer to see what is safe or not safe to use on the interior of your car. Case in point, this car has leather as well as plastic. So I'm going to test it on the leather. I know it'll be fine on the plastic just to make sure that there aren't any weird streaks or anything like that left behind. Your tire rims or your hubcaps are to your car what your sink is to your kitchen. If they look clean, everything else kind of looks clean too. So when you are cleaning your car, make sure that you give your rims or hubcaps some extra attention. To do this, just make up a simple solution of one liter or a quart of water, really, no one's judging, a half cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of dish soap, mix that all up, and then you can use a sponge or a soft brush to start scrubbing the rims or the hubcaps. When that's done, give it a quick rinse and then buff it dry with a microfiber cloth. Oh my gosh, they're gonna sparkle like a diamond. You are gonna feel so fresh and so clean. If you ever notice that your car smells a little bit funky or you're not getting the kind of airflow that you really want, it probably means that it's time for you to change your cabin air filter. Now I know, out of sight, out of mind, what is that and where is it? 
Well, you can check your owner's manual. It's usually right under the glove box and it will require a screwdriver and a new part, but it's a lot easier than it sounds. Now, if this intimidates you, you can actually get it changed the next time you go and get your oil changed. It's a service that a lot of car manufacturers and dealerships offer, although it is something that you can do yourself as well. And once you change it, you'll notice that your car smells a lot better and that your airflow function is working much better as well. It's kind of like when you change out your furnace filter. Usually auto manufacturers recommend you change this once every 25,000 kilometers or once about, I don't know, according to my math, maybe 11 or 12,000 miles. Perhaps some of the best advice I can give you is to just keep your car clean on a regular basis. And to do this, I recommend keeping a microfiber cloth in your glove box. And yeah, I have a makers in my glove box. And here's what I do. When I have a few minutes to myself, let's say I'm waiting for something, I'm a little bit early, Chad's gone in and I'm still sitting in the car, I'll just grab the cloth, take a minute or so, and give the dash, the console, the screen, everything like that, a quick wipe down. It might sound like it's a little fancy, but I promise you, it gets rid of dust and schmutz and other debris that nobody likes to see in the car, and it really does make it look clean between your bigger cleans. These are all quick, high impact, and inexpensive things that you can do to make your car look amazing. And that brings me to this week's comment question. When you're cruising down the highway in the middle of the summer, are you that person that likes to open all your windows in a sunroof if you have one, or do you keep everything up and blast the AC? Me? I'm a windows down kind of person. I mean, if the weather's this gorgeous, I want to be experiencing it as much as possible. And AC is always a little too cold for me. But let me know what you do in the comments down below. A special thanks to our friends at Butler Home Products for sponsoring this video. They have a great line of lint rollers and they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. The one I used in this video is called the Evercare Home Giant Extreme Stick Lint Roller. To learn more about this and the rest of their products, you can visit evercare.cleanerhomeliving.com. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about our microfiber cloths, you can visit cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.